What is inflation? Inflation is a general increase in the price level. In this video, we will explore what causes it, how it impacts society, and what can be done about it. So let's take a look. What causes inflation? We'll examine three causes. First is monetary inflation. This occurs when a government prints too much money. For example, the government of Zimbabwe printed so much money that in mid-November 2008, the country experienced 79.6 billion percent inflation. As a result of the failed monetary policy, its official currency is now the US dollar. Second is demand pull inflation. Demand pull inflation is the result of an increase in aggregate demand. Generally, an increase in any of the components of aggregate demand, consumption, investment, government spending, or net exports, will result in an increase in real GDP and a corresponding increase in the price level. However, if there is significant spare capacity within the economy, inflation is less likely to occur. Third is cost push inflation. Cost push inflation is the result of a rise in the price of inputs in production. An increase in the price of inputs, labor, or resources can impact businesses across the economy by driving up their costs. In turn, they reduce output and also reduce short-run aggregate supply. In the 1970s, the United States experienced an oil crisis in which oil prices suddenly shot up and impacted the production of costs of businesses across the country. This had a severe knock-on effect throughout the entire economy. The impact of inflation. Let's see how inflation impacts the economy. Here's Mike and Ralph. Imagine Mike lent Ralph $100 January 1st of last year. Ralph agreed to pay Mike back after a year on the same day, January 1st. January 1st, the following year comes around and Ralph comes to pay Mike back. He pays Mike $100 and has met his obligation. However, inflation for the year was 100%. Ralph has paid Mike back the $100, but it can now only buy what $50 did a year ago. Ralph is paying Mike back with dollars that have lower purchasing power. It's Ralph's gain and Mike's loss. When the lending rate is lower than the rate of inflation, lenders can lose and borrowers win. If Mike charged Ralph 100% on the loan, then he would be repaid $200. However, they are friends, and friends don't do that to each other. Here's Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe is 75 years old and receives a fixed payment from the government for his retirement benefit. Every month he happily gets $1,000. He likes to use this money to spoil his many grandchildren. Sadly though, inflation has risen 100%. Unfortunately, his benefits are not adjusted for inflation. If the inflation rate rises by something like 100%, poor Grandpa Joe is in the same position as Mike. Out of luck. This is Mansoor. He owns a seafood restaurant. And it is very successful. It's been running quite well for several years now and he is loved by all of his customers. However, the economy has been experiencing sharp and rising inflation for the past several months. Each time he produces a menu, he needs to change it the following week. This situation is called menu cost. And it doesn't just hurt restaurants, but it will also hurt any business that has to spend time and money constantly updating their prices. How do you fix inflation? You target changes in aggregate demand. You have less control over aggregate supply. So let's take a look at how you can do that. One way to reduce aggregate demand is to raise the interest rate or decrease the money supply. This is called contractionary monetary policy. These methods will work to increase the cost of borrowing for consumers and businesses. What's more, the opportunity cost of holding money will rise and drive people to save more. Individuals or organizations that hold debt may see their debt repayments rise as interest rates on their loans start to increase. These effects combined can reduce the overall level of spending within the economy. Another way to reduce aggregate demand is to use contractionary fiscal policy. Simply put, this is when the government decides to cut spending or increase taxes. Let's say Barack Obama takes a look at his morning statistics and realizes the economy is growing too quickly. After meeting with his advisors, he looks to develop a policy to curb growth and inflation. His economic advisors may suggest that he find ways to cut government spending or raise taxes. 
Raising taxes can lead to reduced consumer spending as individuals have lower disposable income. These actions should reduce aggregate demand and decrease the price level. Evaluating inflation. It's important to note some inflation is healthy and acceptable. Problems start to arise when inflation rises out of control, generally above 2 to 3 percent. For example, some countries have a formal or informal target of inflation of about 2 percent. When the economy exceeds this number by a certain amount, the central bank will meet and take action. Now, not all inflation is created equal. It is important to distinguish which forms cause more harm than others. Be mindful of this as you come to grips with the topic. Happy studying!